subscribe to cat with sail sharpa channel and press the bell icon to never miss the video hello welcome to cat with sail sharma in today's video we will see scale body command and text command so let's start with the scale body for that i will create a body and like that i have created a rectangle here then extrude it okay so i have a body here now i want to scale it and for that you will use uh, the scale body command and you have here three options i will show each option one by one the first option is the uniform option it will scale the body uniformly along all the three direction so for that if i select the body uh the specifying the point the spe uh, it's uh, generally it is specified at the origin so i have uh, drawn a rectangle that is not at the origin so the result may vary but the thing is that you can change the spe uh, point also so if i have the point here then it's going to be uh, uniform throughout the body if i scale down to 1.5 and uh, show the result you can see that the body grows to 1.5 of its initial volume if i switch to the 2 then you can see and same happens if i reduce it so this is the uniform command that is a very basic command now if uh, you want a uh, something variation that is not uniform so i have a asymmetric option uh, what happen in this option is that i have two axes one is the z that is the axis along the axis so the z is called the axis and under uh, the other two directions are the other directions so if i scale this body in only in the axis position so it will increase the height in the z direction but if i scale down to other direction so it will decrease the decrease it in the other direction that is x and y so you can see that it is asymmetric completely asymmetric body so this is uh, pretty much about asymmetric and the last one is the general command so this is very good command apart from the uniform and the asymmetric because here we have the control of the x y and z direction independently so i can control x y and z independently how for example i say it's 1.5 it's a uh what you can say three here and 0.5 here if i do the scaling it shows some weird yeah and very very weird so this is the result so you can control completely x y z independently by using the general command this is a very good command and if you if i want it to be uniform is just just add just make the thing and it will serve the purpose of that it will serve all the purpose that you have seen about so it's damn good okay so this is about the scaling so let me scale it for the my next part i want to scale to three okay so now i will show you one very a uh, unique command that is uh, text command if you want to emboss something or if you want to cut a uh, uh, cut your text on a body you can use this command so you have different uh, condition for example if i want it to be planar on or on a curve or follow a curve if you have a curve and if you have a face so little have a face here so i will select the face command and uh, will select the face here and you can select the curve it, the meaning of this is that Uh, it will take the reference so of that curve. If I select this side, it will take the reference from this. And uh, if I reverse this, you can see. You can see uh, this uh, is uh, the my so the text I have written. You can you can find the text from here. You can see that it's changing. Uh, So this is um, what I have written in Scalable Solver. Now, if you want to increase the width 
of this text you can do it by this direction and this is the location if you want to change the location or, or you can send offset you can do from here okay uh, there are a number of fonts here if i want uh, i want let's change it to a simple one comic type and simple if you want to change you can change uh, the font and uh, the effect will be seen It is showing the fact I think the font is a little bit strange. So let's change it to a normal that is easier. Now you can see the font is changed. So this is the font changing and the script is restaurant, you know about that. And all other things are same. So so this is the basic thing that you can do. You can write this from there. And if you want to move it, if you want to create the gap, you can do it. Let's say okay. And what you will do after that, you just written the thing. So the, the, the next option is to uh, select the text and if you want to emboss it, means if you want to extrude it and for example if I emboss it by 2mm, I can do it and the result is like this. But if I want it to be subtracted from the body, uh, means like a pocket form, so come here and it, and it will roll back okay and subtract it from the body and you can see now okay I have selected the body here just reverse the direction so now it's done and uh, now it's just created the pocket here and if you want you can do it by milling machine also so this is uh, more or less about the text okay so i hope you like this video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friend and i will see you in my next video